Hello once again folks, welcome along to another video. Ta file to roiv, maris ganach. Um, today's video is a fly time video and I'm going to be tying some soft hackled wet flies. I recently posted some photographs of some soft hackled wet flies that I tied and they got a huge response and a lot of people wanting to know how they're tied. So, first thing to say is that they're very very easy to tie. If you have any modicum of experience tying flies, you'll easily be able to tie these flies. And they're super effective. Um, I'm going to zoom in the camera now in a second and show you the materials that I use for tying these flies. Um, they're based on the old Partridge series of flies, the Partridge in orange, the Partridge in yellow and others. Um, I'm not using Partridge because I found what I consider to be um, a better, well, maybe not a better material in terms of the effectiveness of the fly. It's equally effective I would consider. but. Um, just better all around in quality and uh, easier to get the small fly or the small feathers that are required to tie, we'll say the smaller um, flies such as what I tie for the most part, size 14. So um, I'll show you that stuff right now. Now to the materials to tie these little soft hackled flies. Um, what I'm actually going to tie here today are the, the partridge series of soft hackled flies which were, they're a very old pattern, very old wet fly pattern, but they work extremely well, particularly in springtime. Now, the originals were tied using partridge feathers, but I've had difficulty sourcing good quality partridge feathers, in, insofar as the consistency and the size of the feathers is very, very sporadic to say, say the, the least of it. I tie these flies mostly in size 14 and 12. And I found that most of the hackles on the partridge feathers, or the partridge uh, capes, if you like, were um, too big. Now you'd get a certain amount of them, but not enough. So I've recently come across these. These are whiting, Brahma hen. And they're genetic um, capes, or if you like to call them that. And what I found with them is that the consistency on the feathers, and the feathers I'm referring to in particular on these are the feathers here, uh, around here, and uh, on both sides. Now the middle feathers can be also used, but the feathers on both sides, I would, um, I, I bought them in this natural grey, uh, an olive, which is particularly nice, and then the natural brown. And I would defy anyone to tell me, when I, if I was to show them one of these feathers, and a partridge feather, to distinguish between the two. Unless, of course, you were an expert uh, uh, on um, feathers or birds, I, I doubt whether you'd be able to tell me the difference between um, these feathers and a partridge feather. So, to my mind, they're indistinguishable from a partridge feather. And not only that, they're much more consistent in terms of size. There's a lot more size 12s and 14s here than you'd find on your average partridge cape. So, I really, really like these. And um, another thing, I found that they're much stronger than your average partridge feather as well. So that's the feathers out of the way. Now the original um, partridge flies were tied obviously using partridge feathers and the threads that were used were Pearsall's gossamer silks and if you were to tie the, the flies with the original recipe well then you'd have to use Pearsall's gossamer silk in either whatever chosen colour say orange or red and they were generally then waxed and um, that would be to follow the original recipe. But I found over the years that if you tie an orange partridge using this ordinary orange thread or the pearsals, it makes no difference. It, 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 to me, um, they, are, they, they catch equal amount of fish, if you like. There's no real difference. So I use just ordinary orange thread and uh, this yellow thread to tie what we call the lemon partridge. and. They both work equally as good as the original Pearson silks. So, strictly speaking, the flies I'm tying, although they're based on the partridge and orange and the, the partridge and the lemon partridge, etc., um, I'm not using partridge feathers, obviously. I'm using these whiting Brahma hen feathers and I'm not using the original threads either. So, you could say they're not really. Um, the partridge series at all, but um, I found that they're just as effective and um, the hooks I use are mainly size 14 although sometimes size 12 and I use Camasan B175s 
Uh, they're a good, strong, heavy wet fly hook, but any uh, good quality wet fly hook will do the same thing. So, um, we have our feathers, we have our threads, and then we have our hook. And now to tying the flies. Okay, we're ready to go here now, tie um, an orange partridge variant, I suppose you'll call it, given that I'm not using partridge at all. Um, size 14, Camasan B175, which is typically the size I use uh, most of the time. And uh, these flies are not difficult to tie. Anybody with any kind of, any level of experience of fly tying will find this relatively easy. So, I hold my tying slung short and I start a couple of turns back from the eye and tie down my tying silk or tying thread if you prefer to call it and back along to just the point of the hook and now in touching turns forward again That is essentially the body of the fly. Couldn't be more simple. So now, the hackle. It's the preparation of the feather is the important thing here. Um, I take off the majority of the fiber. I'll show you the shape that's required in a second. Right. There we are. So what I do now is I hold the point of the feather and fold it back on itself. So that's what you're looking for, like that. And the tying in point is right there. So we offer up our feather to the hook. two or three turns and this little piece that's sticking out here just fold that back and we tie on top of it that will make sure that it doesn't escape and go any place now I had to get my whip finisher and my scissors okay now, that little bit that we just tied down is right there, and I'm just going to clip that off. Now, you, it depends how much hackle, how many turns of hackle you would like on the fly. It's generally recommended that you do no more than two turns. Now, one turn will do, but two turns is sort of the recommended. So, Experience will teach you how much fibre to leave on in order to get two turns. So I'm going to take off a little bit more of the fibre here because I think there's a lot more than two turns. So I'm going to pull off some of the fibres here. And I think that's around about two turns. You have to sort of guess it if you like. Now, just grab it with the hackle pliers. Slightly dampen your, your finger. Pull the hackle back that, like that. And then we bring a turn around. And then we bring the second turn in front. And that's just a little more than two turns, but it's not too much either. three or four tight turns there, make sure it doesn't escape. Snip off the stem of the feather. And now, the whip finish. And that didn't go entirely according to plan, but it's fine. I'm going to give it a second and we'll finish just to the other side. side. And that's it. That's the fly. 
Very, very simple to tie, takes a couple of minutes. Extremely effective fly. Um, in a size 14, as I tie it in, you can tie it in a size 12 for maybe a heavier water, but for general spring fishing, it's hard to beat a partridge and orange, even though, as I've said already and keep emphasizing, this isn't actually tied with a partridge feather. It's tied using these, as I said already, and um, I defy anyone to distinguish between a partridge feather and that feather. To me they appear identical and obviously the trout seem to agree. So that's it, that's a soft hackle fly and you can use any body colour you like. The most common colours are like I said orange and yellow or lemon. You can also use um, a blue, I've seen a, a blue and a pink even. So it's a case of experimentation with the body colour. Try different colours of the body, just use the partridge hackle at the front. So that's it. Uh, thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some value out of it. And good evening, Kea Dorella, Slan Tamo.